So let's move on to the projection head part of the framework. Uh, so projection head uh, in SimClear, it's actually pretty interesting because Perl has a linear projection head. Uh, what SimClear does by introducing a nonlinear transformation is, okay, so if you have the contrastive loss, what you're basically telling Z is to be invariant to a bunch of different transformations that you have in the augmentation pipeline because these are basically being, okay, the two Z vectors are being brought together on the surface of a unit sphere and all the negatives are being pushed apart. But what that does to Z is it makes the invariant to a bunch of different transformations. So you want H to be expressive and H to be able to identify those transformation for the downstream task or to be able to learn good representation. So having a nonlinear transformation between H and Z basically allows an expressive set of representations in H to be mapped to an invariant set of representations in Z. So that's what that's why like nonlinear transformation is so important in this framework. Okay, so yeah, speaking of Z now, I guess the dimensionality of Z itself doesn't matter uh, across, yeah, when you are doing an ablation across this. Uh, what does matter is that you have a nonlinear projection head because the linear projection head strictly underperforms in comparison to that. What's interesting is that the authors have also tested the default, uh, like, like directly applied the contrastive loss to H here. That's your none case. So the H is 204 dimensional. Uh, and that strictly performs again, like the performance is much worse than any other case. 